Hi teachers, in this quick video, we are going to learn how to use that Snowflake Desmos activity. You don't have to have any experience with Desmos in order to do this with students, and it can actually be used at pretty much any grade level, depending on what instructional practice you are trying to teach. So obviously, if, if we're working with math, this definitely, definitely lends itself to math. However, I picture at the elementary level, this would be a great companion for something like Snowflake Bentley. So there are lots of different applications for this, and it's just a fun winter activity. So you're going to click on the activity that I share with you. This activity was not created by me. I am not that talented with Desmos. Um, it was actually created by Steve Phelps. And I'm gonna go ahead and sign out completely so that I can start from the beginning. So the activity, Steve Phelps is amazing with what he can do with Desmos and I like to just tag onto some of his activities to explore and have some fun. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you are going to want to sign in. You'll want to click sign in and I strongly suggest signing in with Google. It creates you the Desmos account. You don't have to create classes in order to use this. Um, in fact, you can use it just through a code. So we're gonna go ahead and click sign in with Google. We've signed in. Now, if you want to use this as is, with students, you can make your own copy of it. You can copy and edit if you would like to edit, or you can come down and assign it. And if you wanna assign without having classes because you've never used Desmos before, you're just going to assign a single session code. The code will be good until, looks like June 9th, 2021. And if we click over here on the three dots, we're gonna get the student link and we're gonna copy this link. This would be the link that we put in Google Classroom or wherever we're asking students to do this. This could also be dropped in a um, Google Meet. So I'm gonna pull back up a different account so I can just pull up a blank window and I'm gonna paste the student link so that you can see what it looks like on the student side and then we're gonna go back into that teacher side. So on the student side, they will click that link, they'll come to this. Because we're not using classes, students can sign in with Google. Sign in with Google automatically triggers their name. It does technically link them to a Desmos account or they continue without signing in. If they continue without signing in, it will ask them to put in their name as they choose. So just a reminder to students on putting in their names so that you can correctly associate the snowflakes with the right people etc. Um, I'm going to click just continue without signing in because I'm not actually signed into anything right now and type in student name and click go. And this is it. Use the green dots in the triangle on the right to create your snowflake. Close your screen when you are finished. That's it. So I'm going to drag green dots. I can get creative. You can drag things through. Make your snowflake. When you have your snowflake done and you like how it looks, close out of the window. That was it. Now we're gonna take a look on the student side of things. I mean, back on the teacher side of things so that we can see that activity and how things are going. So we're gonna click view dashboard. And I can see student name has already submitted here. Now, if I'm on the summary, I'm gonna get a giant list of students and I'm gonna see each of theirs. I can click on theirs individually to see what they did. But what I'm really after at the moment is this collection of snowflakes that I might be able to share. Those of you who teach math and have explored Desmos before, obviously you may be after a little bit more you may have had some further requirements for the snowflake and want some more details. If you look into Steve Phelps stuff, he does have more detailed snowflake assignments beyond just this one activity. Other people have also created some mixes. We're gonna click on teacher and here I see all of my responses and I'm gonna be able to see all the responses from student, that summary of their responses Obviously, you see the snowflakes on the left. You can do the overlay where it looks like that. That's not what I want. 
and I can even see what the student did here. So I'm going to click the, on responses here so then I can end up seeing a library of all of those responses. I can click over to the student and see it from the student and then I can click to summary and I can click back on the, the, the option here and it tags back over to the teacher. Now, I am not very experienced with Desmos, so if you know more about this than I do, that's great. You may know how to see things in a different way than I am currently seeing them. You can take little snapshots of theirs and if you snapshot each of theirs, then when I go over here, I can create a collection. So I may want to create my collection called Snowflakes. And then I can add all those snapshots to my collection. And then when I'm ready, I can present that collection to the class. So have fun with it, explore. You may learn things that I don't know um, and you may find um, some cool, ways to use this with your class.